Cape Cass. Folks, welcome to Chatham. We've got a couple of fantastic episodes from the Cape Cass Vault while we're on vacation this week. First of all, visit Morris Island and have a great walk. And then check out this crazy beach sculpture on North Beach. What is it? Find out next. Mike, can you tell us what we're seeing out here? Sure, this is, um, you're at Monomoy National Wildlife Refuge. There's a little small three quarter mile trail here on the mainland. Um, you just come right to the Wickes Way headquarters. We generally have a, a fox family that lives right here at the headquarters living under the feeders. So many people delight in that every year. Um, coyotes, deer, lots of riparian birds. Um, you know, it's oak and pine forest. Looks like we're in for an adventure, let's go. You may be wondering about this Morris Island curiosity. No, it's not the Pope's hat or a giant milk bottle. It's actually sort of a hangar from which they launch helium balloons with weather instruments way up into the atmosphere. Now, Mike mentioned that you better watch the tides when you come here. You might get a little wet, and when the water temperature is 38 degrees or something like it is now, that can be chilly. In the summer, that wouldn't be a problem. Now we're going to try to sort of clamber through. Maybe some rocks, maybe some wetness. Let's go! All right! <sighs> We've made it through the perilous granite narrows of peril. Almost lost a shoe and several years on the crags. One of the great things about CapeCast is sharing my collection of fine homes with viewers. Old Red back here, my little beach shack in Chatham, is where I keep my comic book collection and a refrigerator stocked with Malomars. We constructed a nature blind here on the trail and stayed in it, hoping to find some of the famed wildlife here at the Morris Island Refuge. We waited and waited and waited. Nothing. Maybe it's my new aftershave. Carnivore for men. Well, we've laughed, loved, and learned here at Morris Island in Chatham. But really the main thing is that as you look at this oceanscape and feel the sun here in April, all of a sudden spring and beach days seem real and possible and not too far away. A very restorative tonic, this Morris Island. Why don't you come on out and give it a try? It lurked on the horizon like something from a cave painting come to life, primal, sinister. The men of Cape Cass approached cautiously. And there it was in its glory, its rugged glory. Old wood and nets and things that we could not identify. Brutal in its frankness and simplicity on the landscape. We looked inside and saw shoes. Other things, mysterious things, the thicket. At first, we tried to wrangle the beast like a wild stallion, but we soon found out that was a mistake. Come on, boy! Come on, boy! Ah! We saw beachgoers approach like pilgrims and asked them what they thought of the beast. Now, would this come from some shipwreck survivor crawling up and piecing these things together or do we think it's just folks who are out on the beach maybe drinking or worse and then drinking related they Drink. probably have a little bit of it to do with the construction of maybe it. alcohol related a libation, never heard anyone to do creative inputs like this very interesting now is it beautiful oh, absolutely yeah. draw us here it's all right the spirits from a sunken ship come back to this island at night congregate in this spot create this so that people keep coming back 
and get it built larger and larger and larger so that they have an annual day that the spirits come back to congregate and celebrate at this point. Like rum-soaked sailors? Rum-soaked sailors. Hello? King Neptune, how are you? This champagne bottle was given to a mermaid by a merman. Their tails intertwined in joy and love as they both vowed to be together forever. Unfortunately, they were caught up in a dragger shortly thereafter and ended up in a cod cake. How about alien civilizations trying to tell us something? No, I think it's people walking on the beach finding things and picking them up and walking here and adding them. Their own little monument to their day at the beach. Cape Cast.